Now at six, a well-known teacher at a prominent high school is accused of grooming and sexually assaulting a female student. Good evening, everyone. I'm Pat Harvey. Now a lawsuit has been filed against LA Unified and the teacher at Hamilton High School in Palms. It claims other teachers knew about the alleged relationship and nothing was done to stop it. Here is CBS 2's Christine Lazar. Barry Smolin, I'm a teacher. This is Barry Smolin, a teacher in the humanities magnet at Hamilton High School in Palms. He's seen in this YouTube video. Head over heels, he tumbled. <laughs> a lawsuit filed on Tuesday contends more than a decade ago. Smolin's inappropriate relationship with the plaintiff was the worst kept secret at Hamilton. The complaint alleges that Smolin groomed his female student beginning when she was just a freshman, giving her music, books, and eventually alcohol and even drugs. Um, and so that was the, the beginning of a process to kind of draw her into, into his web with you know, his ultimate intent of eventually uh, sexually abusing her. The, the plaintiff, who is referred to as Jane Doe, is 29 years old now. The complaint alleges in the 2009 and 2010 school year, when the plaintiff was a 17-year-old senior, the relationship turned physical. Most concerning is that it took place in his classroom. Um, it's my understanding he had a couch in his classroom. In the lawsuit, it reads that during a sexual encounter in Smolin's classroom, another teacher walked in and Smolin literally threw plaintiff off of him and onto the seat next to him. The complaint contends that a second teacher at Hamilton was aware of this sexual relationship as well. That's something that, that should have been reported. That's something that should have been uh, passed along to administration, to law enforcement. The LAPD was eventually contacted by a friend of the plaintiff, according to the plaintiff's attorney. He says detectives interviewed both the plaintiff and Smolin at Hamilton High. It's unclear what became of the investigation. So why the lawsuit now? She finally you know, felt comfortable to speak her truth. LUSD is also named in the lawsuit that seeks unspecified damages. In a statement to us, LUSD says it has not seen the lawsuit and does not comment on pending litigation. Smolin is still listed on the school's website. We reached out to him for comment, but did not hear back. In Palms, I'm Christine Lazar, CBS 2 News.